Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain you how to solve a velocity and acceleration problem involving four bar mechanism by making use of the graphical method that is uh, relative velocity method. So uh, let's directly go to the problem. Uh, it states that PQRS is a four bar chain with links PS fixed. The lengths of the links are PQ is equal to 62.5 mm, QR is equal to 175 mm, RS is equal to 112.5 mm and PS is equal to 200 mm. The crank PQ rotates at 10 radian per second in clockwise direction. Draw the velocity and acceleration diagram when angle QPS is equal to 60 degrees and Q and R lie on the same side of PS. Find angle of velocity and accelerations of links QR and RS. So in this problem basically he has given uh, the lengths of each and every link and also the orientation of initial link angle QPS that is uh, how link PQ is uh, oriented with respect to horizontal that is 60 degree he has given. So first what I'll do is I'll just simply draw a horizontal okay, and uh, here I'll fix this point. I'll name this point as uh, P which is the initial point and I know that uh, PQ has a length of 62.5 mm and the angle is 60 degree with respect to horizontal. So radius is 62.5 and angle 60 degree. I'll draw PQ. This is point Q. Okay. Now he also mentions that QR is equal to 175 mm and RS is equal to 112.5 mm and PS is 200 mm. Now PS is 200 mm. Let me locate the point S. This is point S and this PS is 200 mm and PQ is 62.5 mm. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll have to look at QR and RS with Q as the initial point or the center and radius as 175 mm I'll cut an arc here okay with Q as center and radius 175 mm and similarly with S as initial point and radius as 112.5 I'll cut an arc like this here. So this is the point R that I'll get. So I'll join QR and RS. So this is how you draw the four bar mechanism. This is called as configuration diagram or simply space diagram. This is 175 mm. This is 112.5 mm. And this diagram you can draw based on your suitable scale that's not a problem you can use the scale of uh, 1 is to 10 or 100 is to 10 or any suitable scale you want provided you multiply it with the particular scale while extracting the answers okay so this is the first diagram that is the space diagram now let's concentrate towards the next important thing that is the velocity diagram now we know uh, he has given that uh, the crank pq rotates in clockwise direction with an angular velocity of 10 radian per second. So it means that uh, I can find out the velocity of link PQ which is nothing but omega PQ into PQ. Now I know that omega PQ is 10 radian per second and PQ is 62.5 mm that is 0 0.0625 meter. So I'll find this out 10 into 0 0.0625. So this becomes 0 0.625 meter per second velocity of PQ. Now this I need to represent by making use of the velocity diagram. So in the velocity diagram initially let me uh, see which are the fixed points here. The fixed points are P and S. So I'll take uh, a certain point which is fixed. I'll name it as P comma S because this point represents both P and S which are fixed points 
and these should be the small letter ones okay so now i know velocity of pq that is 0.625 meter per second and i know that the direction of velocity of pq will be perpendicular to the link like this okay so in this direction and with this as the magnitude from p as the original point i'm drawing a line of magnitude this i can draw it to a suitable scale that is suppose if i use scale as 100 is to 1 this will become line of 62.5 mm okay you can use suitable scale not a problem so i have drawn this and this is basically point q this point is point q now next thing i'm going to do is i'll consider the link qr now the velocity of qr will be perpendicular to the link qr itself like this so i have point q what i'll do is with q as the initial point i'll draw a line which is perpendicular to qr that is along this orientation i'll draw a line with initial point as q like this i'll simply extend a line like this with initial point as q and direction this direction that is perpendicular to qr and let this be the vector next i'll consider the link q i mean rs velocity of rs will be perpendicular to the link rs itself now again i have a fixed point s here so with s as the initial point and the direction along this direction that is perpendicular to rs i'll extend a line like this and this will be my point r this will be the point r now from measurement that is from measurement uh, v q r will be equal to this vector v q r by measurement i'll get it as 0.33125 meter per second and vrs that is this line by measurement i'll get it as 0.456 meter per second 0.456 meter per second that is this line now he has asked us to find out the angular velocities of qr and rs we have the linear velocity of qr as this angular i mean and linear velocity of rs as this so angular velocity of qr that is omega qr will be equal to v qr by qr and its value i will get it as 1.89 radian per second similarly omega rs is equal to v rs by rs is equal to the value i'll get is 4.05 radian per second so we are done with the first part of the problem that is drawing the velocity diagram and finding the angular velocity components of qr and rs now let's concentrate towards the second part of the problem that is finding the accelerations or basically angular accelerations of qr and rs that can that could be done only by drawing the acceleration diagram so first what i'll do I'll again figure out which are the two fixed points. Now I know that the two fixed points are P and S, but in acceleration diagram I'll represent them as P dash, S dash. Okay. Now I'll consider the motion of PQ again. Here in the problem, he clearly mentions that PQ rotates with a uniform velocity of ten radians per second. It means that PQ has only radial component, whereas qr and rs will be having both radial as well as tangential components and as we know the radial component will be along the length of the link that is along the orientation of the link and towards the center and tangential components will be perpendicular to the links okay so first i'll find out the acceleration that is radial acceleration of pq the formula to find that is a r p q is equal to v p q whole square by p q 
and the value I'll be getting is 6.25 meter per second square. Okay. So now I have the acceleration of PQ and I know the radial component will be along the link towards the center. So with P dash as the initial point, with this as the magnitude that is 6.25 meter per second square and towards the center in this direction, I'll draw a vector like this. Vector of magnitude this and I'll represent the direction and this will be point Q dash, all small letters. Now next, I'll consider link QR. Next, I'll consider link QR. As I said, QR will be having two components that is uh, one radial acceleration component, one tangential acceleration component. The radial component will be along QR, tangential component will be perpendicular to QR. So first, let us find out the radial acceleration component of QR. The formula is ARQR is equal to VQR whole square by QR. And the value you will be getting is 0.627 meter per second square. 0.627 meter per second square. So I have got the radial component now. It will be along QR. So here with Q dash as the initial point and direction along QR, that is this direction, I'll draw a line of magnitude this magnitude that is 0 0.627 meter per second square so I'll represent the direction here okay let this be point x now next thing I know is the tangential component of qr will be perpendicular to the radial component so with x as the initial point I'll simply join a line this line which is perpendicular to q dash x the line which is perpendicular to q dash x I will simply extend this line ok so leave it now concentrate towards the next link that is rs now I know the acceleration that is radial acceleration of rs will be equal to v rs whole square by rs and the value you'll be getting is 1.85 meter per second square. Now, also the radial component will be along the link that is RS. So I have point initial point S dash here and along the orientation of the link and towards the center that is towards this direction, I'll draw a vector of length 1.85 meter per second square. And this will be, let, let me call this point Y dash. Now, I know that the tangential component of RS will be perpendicular to RS. So with Y as the initial point, I'll draw a perpendicular line like this. I'll just simply extend this perpendicular line. And at a point, this perpendicular line will intersect the previous perpendicular line and we get the ultimate point that is r dash now let me represent this direction as well okay so now what i get is i get the resultant vectors q dash r and this resultant vector s dash r okay so this completes the acceleration diagram but again we need to find out the acceleration I mean angular acceleration angular accelerations of link QR and RS angular accelerations of link QR and RS now we have the formula which finds the angular acceleration of QR that is alpha QR is equal to tangential velocity component of qr by qr now the tangential velocity component of qr is x r dash it is x r dash length of x r dash divided by qr that is qr this qr 
and the value you will be getting is 22.14 radian per second square. Similarly, angular acceleration of RS will be equal to tangential velocity component of RS by RS. Now tangential velocity component of RS is y dash r dash tangential velocity component of rs is y dash r dash and rs is simply this rs okay so here i'll get the answer as 43.33 radian per second square so this concludes the problem thank you